eyes on Zero Dawn. Let's make up perhaps superfluous but necessary promise. Horizon Zero Dawn is the video game I wanted when I was six years old. I remember going to my father's works place one summer morning and seeing him typing on the computer. When I asked him what he was doing, he told me that he was creating a program. My father creates accounting programs for companies, if I understood correctly. Whereupon I, all excited, asked him, So, can you create a video game too? And he, very simply, told me no, because creating a video game was much more complex and difficult. Needless to say, I felt terrible about it, and only years later would I find out that there are even specific and different teams working on the video games. But, on the same occasion, I told my father that it would have been great to have a video game in which you had to fight robotic dinosaurs with swords and bows. Well, fast forward and Guerrilla Games announces Horizon Zero Dawn. I'll let you imagine the scream I let out when I found out. When my father came home that night, I told him, We must get this game. And we did. Yes, my father played it as well and enjoyed it. Incidentally, Horizon was the first game I ever got the Platinum Trophy of and completed it 100%, at least in its basic version. But now, Let's get to the story, shall we? Horizon Zero Dawn is set in a matriarchal society in which our protagonist, Aloy, is an outcast and motherless. In short, she won the loser's lottery. At least, however, she has roused a man to whom she was entrusted six months earlier than the initial cinematics and who has taken care of her. And it's roused with Christian the child as Aloy. Also, did you know that the name comes from Old High German, one of the ancestors of today's German, and means brave in battle or famous warrior? But whatever, back to us. So, Aloy grows up as an outcast, and no one dares to talk to her. Also, if someone passes her on the street, they change direction. Not good treatment, especially for a six-year-old girl. Fed up with this situation, the little girl asks Rust why she's been treated this way, and he explains to her that this is how outcasts are treated, and that the only way to stop being an outcast is to take part in the Nora proving. Aloy, therefore, already armed with focus, the strange thing she found by accident when falling into one of the predecessor's ruins, begins training for the fateful test. Therefore, the time to take part in this challenge comes, and Eloy wins. She's not in time to collect her prize to find out the truth about her mother when she and the challengers are attacked by some masked guys, the Eclipse. Fortunately, Eloy is saved, but by miracle. It takes the sacrifice of Rust, who frees her from the raging madman who had ordered her capture, losing his life in an explosion. Tirsa. One of the high matriarchs then tells Eloy that she has been found in the mountain, as if she had appeared out of nowhere, and gives her permission to search for more answers outside the boundary of the embrace. Thus begins the adventure that leads us to interact with Silence, a man who will spy on us all the time from our focus, but also Erend, Avat, and other secondary characters. Between missions then, Eloy discovers that she had been created by Gaia, an AI capable of feeling emotion devised by Elizabeth Sobek, a scientist with whom she shares genetic heritage. Eloy, in fact, is a clone of Elizabeth Sobek, created by Gaia in order to restore her after Gaia herself forced her own shutdown. And as a clone of Elizabeth Sobek, only she can save Meridian, the city of the sun ruled by Avad, from the threat of the Eclipse who seeks her. The Eclipse, in fact, worships Hades, the sub-function of Gaia in charge of exterminating life on Earth. They like others, such as Festus, which creates machine, has mysteriously gone wild. In short, after several quests, come the showdown. Eloy and her companions, including Aaron, Varl, who is the first friend we make, and even the Banuk, should we play the DLC before finishing the base game, fight against the Eclipse and Meridian, all so that Aloy can destroy Hades with the spear Silence gave her. Or maybe not, since apparently the same spear allows 
silence to get his ends on Hades itself. Thus ends Horizon Zero Dawn, hinting at the existence of a sequel that turned out to be Forbidden West. What can I say? Did I enjoy it? Yes, as I said, it's the game I would have wanted as a kid and I loved playing it. Would I recommend it? With eyes closed, just as with eyes closed I would recommend playing Horizon Forbidden West, which I will talk about in two weeks. So, if you want to know what I think about the sequel, stay tuned to this channel. I'd say we are done here. If you like the video, please leave a like, a comment, share it with your friends, subscribe